Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today we're going to continue our video series of the Aura Live Media Streaming Box. Now when you first plug it into your HDMI on your TV, you also install the USB dongle that comes for the remote. Uh, you're going to be met with this screen after it loads up. Uh, so you're going to hit next, you're going to choose your language, and you can play with this so that you can make the screen size the way you want it. But we're going to continue next. So we're going to hit Wi-Fi, and I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi, but it also has Ethernet for a way for you to connect uh, to your Internet, because you do need the Internet. And we're going to select my Wi-Fi network that I choose to use, and if you flip the remote over, you have uh, a keypad, but you're also on the front, you have your numeric pad. So we're going to just type in my password. Okay, so I typed in my password for my Wi-Fi and I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Alright, so then we hit next and it's going to say time zone, uh, but we're going to click that and we're just going to set it so that it automatically uh, does the date and time over the internet. So we'll hit next and we're going to hit finished. So what we got here is the update backup manager. So we'll open up and it discovered no uh, versions that were updated from the manufacturer of the Aura Live. So we're just going to hit our back button. Uh, if there was an update, there would it would be uh, right there on that screen and you would uh, update online. Okay, so after you finish the installation wizard, you're going to be met with your home page here. And you'll have the date and time up here You'll have your Wi-Fi signal, as well as any SD or USB or even hard drives connected. Uh, you'll see them, their situation here. Uh, so on the main page, you have eight uh, uh, shortcuts right up here. These are not customizable yet, but they will be in the near future. So anytime you install an app that's a streaming app, it will show up in here. Uh, it also social apps will show up in here. And then you have all of your apps. This is your app draw so that you can access all the apps you have installed. We have a settings panel. This is the Aura uh, Live settings, which you can also get into your Google firmware settings in here as well. And I'll show you that in a second. Any version of Kodi that you have installed, a single version of Kodi you have installed, including the newest uh, Jarvis, uh, when you click here, it will look for any Kodi uh, media center. You could sideload uh, any version Kodi Media Center. Now I'm going to make a separate video about Kodi uh, because they also use a skin uh, called Aura 1080 which is geared after Experience 1080 and it's just a very easy and simple way to use Kodi. Uh, we have live TV. I made a video about that and it has a DVR as well as a program guide and you can access any of your live uh, streams from your broadcast towers in with the antenna up on your roof. Uh, and record them and play them back. And it's really great. You should check out that video. We also have a full browser. So this is the Android stock browser. But if you installed Chrome or Firefox and uh, you made it your primary uh, internet uh, web page or web browser, it will click here and you will definitely open up that app. We have a full Google Play Store, uh, which is really nice. Uh, let me show you that. It's uh, it jumps right to it. It loads up nicely, and you have your personal credentials here. And you can click on any one of your apps. Uh, let's click My Apps. And we don't have any installed from my Google Play, but these are all my past purchases, uh, even the ones that I installed on here previously, testing out the unit. And we have tons and tons of apps that we can install. Uh, I recommend if you're going to be using XBMC, uh, you should definitely put your VPN in. Uh, because then it will protect you uh, from snoopers that will see your external IP address and then report you to your cable company. Uh, so if you're going to be using uh, sources that are not quite legit and you want to get all your live TV or your recorded TV uh, or movies and things like that, you should definitely set up a VPN. I have a seed box, uh, which is like an online server uh, that I download all my torrents and share them with the community. Uh, but when I access that, I make sure that my VPN is on. Uh, also, a VPN will help you uh, protect your device so that uh, nobody can try to hack in and uh, 
to get your information and things like that, as well as uh, set it up so that if you're in another country and you want to get USA channels, uh, you can connect to a VPN, uh, that IP that is United States, and it will fool the system into thinking that you're in the country that you're not. Uh, we're going to make a separate video about that as well. Uh, that's a general video, not specifically for the Aura Live, but I'll show you how to set a VPN up. Uh, it's great. Uh, this is an open source uh, VPN service. So that is pretty much uh, it with the Google Play Store, but we have that full browser, which is great. And you could sign in and uh, you scroll up and down using the uh, directional pad or you can page up and down different uh, parts of the uh, web browser here. And, and what's great about the remote that comes with the Autolive is that you have a mouse that you can move around and click different things as well as scroll up and down with your D-pad and you have a full query keyboard and numeric keyboard on this remote so you don't need a keyboard but if you wanted to you could connect the keyboard and mouse to the Aura Live using one of the four USBs that it has and you have a full browser like a computer experience. All of your apps will show up in all apps uh, which is nice. Uh, you scroll up and down and you can get all of your access to all of your apps. Uh, down here at the bottom we have a customizable uh, shortcut page so if you hit plus uh, you'll get all of your apps that you have installed uh, these are all the pre-configured apps uh, that Aura Media installed uh, like AirPin. AirPin Pro is actually a paid version uh, it allows you to mirror and uh, cast uh, media from your iOS Android device as well as even send over your screen from your PC or your Mac uh, so that it shows up right on the screen of your TV, uh, which is pretty nice, uh, especially with Android and Windows. Uh, you can you know, throw that screen right up on there and play media from your tablets and your computers and things like that. Uh, we have an app installer. You can download third-party app installers as well. Uh, we also have Media Center, and Media Center allows you to play all your recorded uh, live TV recordings, as well as any other media. That SD card or whatever. Uh, it has Miracast. Uh, if your uh, mobile device has Miracast uh, capabilities, you can use that. Uh, we also have jump to the settings. We can jump to the updates. Uh, and we have Movie Player and a whole bunch of other Aura Live specific apps. Uh, but like I said, Google Play, install any file browser you want, any media player you want. Uh, and that is spectacular. You could jump to the Google settings for the firmware. Uh, it's just a fully open device and you can install any app. And I like the setup. If you click on something like you want to add a shortcut to, say, Amazon, uh, once you hit the back button, you'll see it show up here in the uh, fast shortcuts down here. So very simple, very easy to use. Uh, we have full Google Play, full browser, full live TV with DVR and guide, a full Kodi Media Center, as well as all your streaming social apps and all of your apps, as well as the settings here. So in the settings, you can play around and switch networks. Uh, you have a display so that you can automatically display your HDMI, but you could change your uh, outputs to 1080, which I like to have because my TV does 1080, but if you had 720, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can make it look like a de mobile device, uh, but I like to leave that off because I like the, I like to leave that off because I have the, I like that lean back feature. Um, you can also go into advanced and change a couple things here where you can auto detect your, uh, which audio you're going to be using. Uh, you click on here and you can change all your pass-through and all that. It has a optical out uh, on the Aura Live box uh, so, and also 3.5 millimeter uh, so that you can output your audio to uh, stereo systems and things like that. You have CC control so that 
your remote can control your power and volume on your TV. You can also use a Google TV remote, and you can also set up your remote control so that it, it will broadcast your IP, and you can connect IP remotes as well. It has Miracast settings here, so you can set up the Miracasting. And also in other, uh, you can check out system updates. Uh, you can get an online update for any firmware that Aura Media puts out uh, for this device, which Lollipop is on its way, as well as sideload any downloaded uh, firmware. You can also go into more settings and you get your uh, Google KitKat uh, settings panel. Uh, like I said, soon Lollipop. And you basically can go through and change all different things on your device. Uh, what I like to do is I like to go into uh, let me show you that into security and make sure that you have unknown sources checked off so that you can sideload any um, APK uh, externally from an SD card or USB. But I tell you, the Google Play Store it pretty much has every app. Uh, but if there are development apps or anything like that that you want to install, you can install from an SD card, and uh, it's great like that. You can even put uh, different Kodi uh, plugins and things like that onto an SD card, and it will allow you to install them on the Kodi that's on this device. So it's great to have all of these uh, things, like a, a fully rooted device, so that when you use Kodi, you can get into the deepest files. Uh, when you want to install APKs, you can get deep into the file. If you want to install custom ROMs that may be available uh, for this, uh, there are Linux uh, ROMs that you can install in the near future. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these things pop up because Aura is fully open, uh, fully customizable, and you definitely have to get this if you're a cord cutter. Uh, so basically, that's pretty much it. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to do Kodi Media Center, and I'm going to show you their version of Kodi Media Center. It's just a skin. Uh, it's called Aura 1080, which is based off of Experience 1080. Uh, and it just makes it easy uh, for people who are not so technically inclined. Uh, because Kodi Media Center can get a little confusing, uh, they made it so that it's very uh, user easy, uh, maybe the I, uh, uh, UI. Uh, but like I said, you can go back to the Confluence uh, skin, and it looks like the the Kodi that you're used to. But we'll go more about that when I do the next video, which is going to be Kodi Media Center. I hope you enjoy this playlist for the Aura Live Media Streaming Box. A great device. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. And have a nice day.